Okay, folks, we have the train line coming all the way over here with my build train. These have got all my building materials to do the project I want to do over here. The point of what we're doing here is over at the coal and the sulfur up there, and we're going to be creating a compact coal build here that eventually we're going to use to copy and paste and do blueprints with. The next step is that we will be building the compact coal setup. And the reason I'm about to talk about the next step has to do with the fact that we are going to be doing copying and pasting and blueprinting. And the step is I want to ensure my foundations are accurately on a north, south, east, west alignment. So these foundations here are the ones that align up that we brought all the way across that we brought up. So they're actually grid aligned to the, the main base. That's good overall. They should be north, south, east and west. We're going to look in the calculator to find out if that is the case. So here is the save file. Over here is these foundations that I was talking about. Now how do I know if they're grid aligned in there if they're north, south, east, west? When I right click on a foundation, update its position. The key here is that the X and the Y, they end with the same numbers, 75. Because what happens is if I want to move something plus eight meters, I'm just changing these numbers here. And if I want to change something in the Y eight meters, it's just these numbers here. These numbers don't change. Just to prove a point, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to update this foundation position and we're just going to move uh, it eight meters in one direction and eight meters in the other direction. And that's it. I'm going to download that save file. This is a very important step to ensure that it's properly configured. This helps with your copying and pasting ladder. It really does. So I'm going to grab this file I've just moved that file into a save games so now I'm going to load the game we can see that foundation up there has moved but more importantly when I move the foundation in a direction in a plus and eight meters it's perfectly aligned so the next one I put here is aligned perfectly and the next one here is aligned perfectly and the reason why I'm, I'm very particular about this and pointing this out is because um, when you have a foundation that is, and I'll go down here and show you, on an angle, on a rotation that's not strictly north, south, east and west, what happens is it makes it very hard to move it inside the calculator because I can't just go plus eight meters that way because I also need to take in the other, it, it's hard to move something that's on an angle because you have to move both units and it gets very confusing and very frustrating and can cause a lot of headaches. And it's one of those things where you're like, oh, if only I'd known this to begin with. What you can do is also, if you wanted to, to be, if you wanted to make it really easy to be absolutely sure, you could update your position and just make these a zero at each end. So it's like a period zero, period zero. That means if I did that now, it would mean everything would be off my grid alignment. I'm not too fast, and I'm just going to show you by not doing it that everything will work okay. But by doing that check, I know that it's going to be easy later when I'm trying to move stuff around because we do have to move stuff around when we get to the copy and paste stage. And when you, if you have things on an angle, they don't move very well. So that's a really important part of understanding blueprints later down the track and copying, pasting, and we'll leave that here at this part of the tutorial and we'll continue on with the next part.